Hey everybody, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com. Thank you guys as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. Today I'm going to be giving you a little overview of the Keurig B70 single serve coffee machine. This is a really nice single serve machine and we're going to show you some of the bells and whistles and of course brew some coffee. So let's dive right in. All right guys, so the B70 in comparison with some of its brother machines is definitely the largest by far, but that's okay because it does a whole heck of a lot. So we'll let it take up a little more space on our countertop. First off, the water reservoir on the B70 is larger than its counterparts. This is a 60 ounce water reservoir. So a lot more water and that's because we have a lot more cup sizes that we can make use of on the B70. As opposed to some of the other Keurig machines, the B70 we have five different cup sizes and I'll show those to you by opening and closing the brew basket right here. On the LCD screen you're going to notice that I've got a very small cup and a very large cup. These range in different sizes. We've got a four ounce, we've got a six, an eight, a 10, and a 12 ounce. So depending on your, the strength of coffee that you like, you're going to want to choose wisely when it comes to the cup size that you're going to make use of. Initially, the eight ounce cup size is going to be the default cup size. However, you can change that by programming the, mach the machine by making use of the menu functions that are available to you on the machine, which not only allow you to set the clock, but also to select the auto off if you would like the machine to turn itself off automatically. You can tell the machine when to turn itself on and off. You can also set the brew temperature. So this is something that's very useful in this machine is being able to set your own brew temperature. If you like for your coffee to be a specific temperature, you can actually change that 187 degrees all the way up to 192. And then you can set the default brew size. As I say, initially the eight ounce is going to be the default, but if you want to change that, you can simply just move around between the cup sizes and choose your default cup size and then press the menu button one more time and go back into the ready to brew setting. So a lot of programmable options on the B70 that you do not have access to on the counterparts below this machine. Everything else is pretty straightforward. As I say, this machine uses the same type of brew basket, which we find on all Keurig machines. Simply open up the brew basket and then you pop your K-cup into the basket and you're ready to brew. There's also a removable tray, which we'll make use of in just a moment here, because that's really useful for being able to brew much larger tumblers, such as ice tumblers and things like that. So let's go ahead and choose a K-cup to start brewing with going to take this Green Mountain Coffee K-Cup right here. K-Cups are vacuum sealed and ready to go. Depending on how you like your coffee, you can find a lot of different K-Cups to answer your need for the specific way that you like your coffee. Pop that K-Cup in, close up the brew basket. Two needles on the top and the bottom of this brew basket will puncture that K-Cup and get it ready to go. And then all you've got to do is pop your cup right under the brew basket and we're ready to brew. Now again, we can choose a different brew size by simply pressing one of the buttons on the left or right of the menu button right here and taking a look at the LCD screen. I'm gonna go ahead and make use of the eight ounce cup size since that's usually what I will end up drinking and then just press the brew button. We know that the machine is brewing because our LCD screen is going to tell us that it's brewing. We're gonna hear the machine taking water in and getting ready to start brewing as well. But most of all, we're gonna smell it. Immediately, I start to smell that coffee, guys, and that's something that I love is how quickly I can make a cup of coffee using a machine like the B70. It's fast and it's easy, and you're gonna save money as well, guys, which is really important. We all know that with drip style coffee machines, we always have coffee left over. Sometimes we use too many grounds, sometimes we use too little ground. Our coffee can be very, very spotty when it comes to the quality. With a single serve machine, we don't have that problem at all and that's something that I love about the world of single serve coffee. So there you go. There's a cup of coffee. That took me literally less than a minute, guys, and it's ready to go. That is the awesome thing about this, the amount of time you're gonna save. I can take that, I'm good to go right out the door, and I can get going with my day. Clean up, real easy to do. Pop open the brew basket, take out your spent K-cup, and toss it, guys. You're all set. So let's go ahead and do some tea now. Uh, let's go ahead and choose one here. 
got a Celestial Seasonings K-Cup right here, and I'm gonna use a large tumbler. You're gonna notice this guy isn't gonna fit initially. So all I have to do is take out my drip tray, set it aside, because of course you're gonna need it later, and pop your large tumbler underneath, ready to go. Take your K-Cup, pop it right on into the brew basket, close it up, and again, choose the brew size that you would like. Now remember, depending on the strength of your drink and how you like it, you're gonna to wanna to choose a different brew size. So I'll go ahead and go actually a little bit lower in this case because I like my tea a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the six ounce brew size and go ahead and just hit brew. And of course, while the B70 does its job, I'll do mine and I'll remind you guys to check out aromacup.com where you can get coupons, on K-Cups and save money on machines like the B70 by finding out the best place that you can buy and save money. You can also read more reviews on machines like the B70 and many single serve accessories available to you. And of course, talk to other coffee lovers in our forums and watch our other videos. All of that is at aromacup.com. So please join us guys. I'd love to see you there and talk with you on our forums. And there you go, there's my tea brewed and all set. And of course, as always, clean up, very easy to do. Simply pop open the brew basket, take your spent K-cup, and you are good to go. Pop your drip tray back in. And that's it, guys. That's the great thing about this machine is how easily you can make all these different drinks and how quickly you can make them, and of course, save money. So as I say, the B70 has a lot of bells and whistles. It's definitely a little more expensive as compared to some of its counterparts, but if you're really ready to make the jump into the world of single serve coffee, this is a machine to check out. All right guys, let's do some frequently asked questions about the Keurig B70. The first one that everyone wonders about very often is maintenance. How often do you need to maintain these machines? The answer is not very often. The only thing you need to do is descale these machines every once in a while because as you use water in them, there is going to be some calcium buildup inside the machine, so you just want to descale, follow the instructions in the manual or in some of our other videos here on aromacup.com to find out how you can descale the machine. Beyond that, these machines are very, very easy to use and really do not require any major cleaning or maintenance. Folks are always wondering about how many different beverages they can make with a machine like the B70. Well, as you saw, you can, of course, do coffee and teas, but in, in addition to those drinks, you can also do iced drinks, such as iced coffees and iced teas. There are K-Cups specifically made for making iced drinks, which is an awesome option if you're going into the world of single-serve coffee. And you can also do some rather unconventional things with your B70, such as using its hot water to make hot oatmeals and a cup of noodles and just about anything else that requires some hot water, such as hot cocos and various things like that, you can do it all with the B70. Everyone always asks me, Brian, can I make my own coffee with single serve coffee? You know, I, I have something that I really, really like and I don't wanna buy pre-filled K-cups. And the answer is yes, you definitely can make your own coffee using machines like the B70. In fact, if you wanna make your own coffee, you wanna get yourself a Keurig machine in the world of single serve coffee and that's because there's a lot of different options, such as the My K-Cup option, which will come uh, with some of these machines and give you access to brewing your own coffee from Keurig. Two of my favorite options for brewing my own coffee, however, is the Solo Fill Cup and the Echo Brew Cup. These are both really awesome ways to make your own coffee. So if you know that you like your coffee ground a certain way and mixed a certain way and brewed a certain way, you can do that with these brew your own options for the B70 and other Keurig machines. Folks wonder a lot about being able to make iced drinks using a machine like the B70. And you can make iced drinks, iced coffees, iced teas, and drinks such as those using the B70. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna use the smallest brew size usually, generally six ounces uh, out of your machine over ice. And of course, use a K-cup, which specifically states on it, brew over ice. And then you can make great iced drinks using a machine like the B70. A lot of us are on the go, so folks are always wondering about making use of travel mugs using a machine like the B70. If you do do that and you're making use of a K-cup, which is for a travel mug, I've usually found that you want to go ahead and brew two of those K-cups because you're going to find that the strength of the coffee will be a little weaker than what you might like for your travel mug. And let's face it, when we're on the go, we want a nice strong cup of coffee. So make sure you use that trick and you'll be doing just fine with a travel mug. If you'd like to adjust the coffee strength 
coming out of your B70. The B70 is really going to give you the most options for changing your brew strength. As I say, there are five different cup sizes and each of those is going to adjust the flavor of your coffee. Also, depending on the type of coffee that you like to use, you'll find that your brew is going to be different. If you use pre-filled K-cups and you use an extra bold K-cup, you'll find that the flavor will be stronger. Or if you're mixing your own coffee, of course, you'll want to be selective about the ground type and of course, the brew type and the roast type that you're making use of. Everyone wonders about the warranty on machines like the B70. There is a one year factory warranty, so if you have any problems with the machine within a year, you're gonna be covered. However, if you wanna extend that to a full lifetime warranty, you can check out the Cafe Express Coffee Club, which offers a full lifetime warranty on a machine like the B70. And to find out more about Cafe Express, check it out at aromacup.com where you can find out about getting that great lifetime warranty on the B70 and any other single serve coffee machine you might be interested in.